Well, whether it's the small gatherings now or the bigger gatherings that we hope will start happening again before too long, there is an etiquette, certainly rules, do's and don'ts when it comes to eating with your fingers. There's also an etiquette rule when it comes to putting your microphone on. We're talking about eating with your fingers, as I use my fingers to put my mic on with etiquette expert Diane Gotsman, who can hopefully hear me now. Diane, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you. You're making, I was scared. I couldn't hear anything. <laughs> Thanks for having me. Yeah, yeah. Well, I use my fing I use my fingers for many things. Uh, putting my <laughs> mic on when I'm supposed to and other things. And uh, listen, ma Mama raised me right, but I can use my fingers for eating some foods too. So I want to know when I'm supposed to. You've got seven foods that you say pretty much no matter the situation, it's okay to get the fingers involved as opposed to the fork. So yes, we have some foods here and there are so many more, but we have some foods that you can use your fingers with and we're gonna throw in, I'm gonna throw in some etiquette tips on when you shouldn't use your fingers. So um, starting with French fries. So Dave, do you use your fingers for French fries? <laughs> I, do, I most certainly do. And I feel pretty good about that one, to be honest. I do too. I use my fingers for French fries. Now, if you are served yeah, French okay. fries with a hamburger at a hamburger joint, dig in put that ketchup all over it and just mm -hmm. have a great time. But if you are served for some reason, served French fries, let's say with a steak and a more formal meal, or even potatoes that look like French fries and they're a little larger that look like this. It's like a roasted potato, so French fry. Make sure you use a fork. So you're using a knife and a fork to cut the French fries on a formal plate setting if, or a formal plate if that's what they're giving you. But when you're out sitting on a picnic bench with a hamburger, use your fingers. I think that's good. As we go forward here, I'm, I'm sensing, Diana, I'm sure you would say a little common sense on when to kind of dress it up or dress it down as the circumstance allows. No complete hard and fast rules for everything, but uh, that, that, that makes a lot of good sense. Um, okay, we're going to jump around here. You talked about French fries and the waffle fries. I'll start back up here at the top with one of my personal favorites, shrimp. And that is, that is tough because sometimes you do need to get the fingers involved. Uh, these are so good. Okay, shrimp is delicious, but you yeah. use it. Let's say down the road, we're out of the pandemic, we're socializing again, you're at a cocktail party, you take a shrimp, put it on your napkin when you are at a buffet, you use it as a little, you use the tail as a little handle. <laughs> when you are sitting at a meal, you can use your fork and your knife to get the meat in that tail, but your goal is not to get every single little morsel out of that piece of shrimp. Okay, so shrimps, uh, little shrimp is delicious. That tail is a is a maybe. You can use your fingers when appropriate when it's crunchy, but not at a, a formal table. Okay, there have been times when that absolutely has been my goal, Diane, <laughs> to get every morsel out, and I just feel like I'm, I've accomplished so much. We I all know that it. thing when you get the whole tail. <laughs> And then sometimes when you leave it all in there, you know, okay, hit or miss. Uh, so many people love corn in the cob, corn on the cob, especially as the weather gets warmer. That's a that's a finger food. You're saying? Okay, that is a finger food, but it is not a one bite meal. So you can pick up the corn on the cob. You don't eat the whole thing in one bite. You know, you eat row by row. If they give you these little. Uh, pushers that go in the side of the corn, by all means, you use them. But if you're a host of an event, backyard barbecue, great, very informal, great, but not at a formal meal because they're going to want to turn, the person's going to want to turn their corn around, cut the, the little uh, layers off, and it's going to be a big mess. Okay, that's good, good advice there. This one surprised me. I got to say, I mean, I've done it before, but uh, you say asparagus certainly can be a finger food a lot of times. So I think it's interesting because asparagus are, if, you, if you're eating them like this, maybe for a dip, certainly finger food. If you're eating them from a plate, yeah. believe it or not, the protocol is if it's, if it's firm, you could use your fingers. Do not, don't do it because oh. people aren't going to understand and they're gonna see you picking up that asparagus and you're just gonna look like your mama didn't give you good manners. <laughs> so use your fork and your okay. knife if it's a plate. If it's a dip, by all means, go ahead and jump in. But again, if it's some kind of dip, it's gonna be your own dip for right now. You're not sharing dips with other people during this pandemic. I just have to throw that in. You know, hard boiled eggs are another Absolutely. dilemma because some people love them, some people <laughs> hate them. They are so messy. So go, you can use your fingers, it's perfectly fine. But if you wanna use a fork and a knife to cut it or a fork, go ahead. It's two bites, much like sushi. You can use a fork with sushi, you can use your fingers for sushi, or you can use chopsticks, but it's a, it's a one to two bite. 
Yeah, no, those are those are tough ones. I, I've been known to do one bite even on the hard boiled egg. I want to wrap up with the <laughs> my personal favorite, a big show closer, <laughs> Hot, uh, tacos and pizza. I mean, you get obviously using your fingers, your hands for those. Just so easy, tacos and pizza hands. But if the pizza is real gooey and hot and it's making a mess all over the place, and you got to get back to work, and you're at the, you, 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 go ahead and use your knife and your fork. But finger food, great. And one last one. Black olives, not a finger food. Use the little tongs that your host gives you. you. You just follow the lead of the table and your host will probably give you utensils if they want you to use a utensil. This is for a cupcake. Cupcake is finger food. But if they put a fork there, use your, thing, use your fork because it's messy. See? Okay, very good well, advice as always, Danny Gottsman. I will try to follow all those rules. I will. I will even try to not try to get every little last bit of those shrimp out there, but that's going to be tough. I'm going to hear your voice in my head the next time those are in front of me. <laughs> we appreciate it. Have a good week, Diane. See you later.